Hey everyone, I am here with a card process video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I am making um, some mass produced cards. I'm gonna be making some baby shower cards for a baby shower that my friend and I are throwing for our other friend. Um, so I kind of wanted to show you how I do mass producing of cards. So first of all, I come up with an idea, obviously, and then I try to make sure that's something that I can do a lot of, so I have a lot of the supplies that I need, um, and, but something that's not going to take me nine hours to <laughs> complete, okay? I, no one has time for that. So the theme of her baby shower is um, it's, we're having a jungle, jungle theme. So the card that I created for her um, baby shower card is this one. It's really simple, as you can tell, but really cute. You know, very simple and cute. Um, so I'm going to be making a ton of these cards. I'm going to mass produce them. So I thought this would really work out best for kind of what uh, I have time for and what I want to do. So um, when I mass produce cards, I really like to have all of my stuff set up meaning I cut out everything, I prepare everything that I want to cut out and things like that. So I have all of these corrugated card pieces already cut out into the um, size I need them. I have all of my lines already stamped out and fussy cut out and colored in. I have all of the um, banners that I'll be using for the cards already stamped out with the sentiment. I have all of the banner pieces cut out already. I'm in the shapes and sizes that I want them. And I already have all of these circles cut out as well. So it just makes the whole process much easier. Like you can actually mass produce them. <laughs> um, the stamps that I did use for the card, uh, I used Critters in the Savannah just for the little lion friend. And I did use um, the plus one only for the little Let's Celebrate sentiment there. So we will get started. So first I'm using just a general um, craft cardstock base. This is from Recollections, I believe. Um, and let us put all of the banners on first. I always like to go that route. So I'm gonna pick out the pieces that I wanted. I just cut out a bunch of pieces using some scraps that I had and I tried to just be conscientious of the colors that I was picking. Um, make sure you know they weren't horribly um, uh, on all, um, different sizes and just you know didn't go together. So I tried my best with that. What color am I missing here? Oh, I'm missing this orange one. <clears throat> so all right, cool. So what we'll do is we'll assemble this part first, and I am very just kind of nonchalant about this. <laughs> I kind of just do it however I have to grab it. So I add a little bit of adhesive to the top because I do want to curl the bottoms, even though I think in the mail they're not going to really turn out all that curled because they'll be flattened quite a bit. But I thought it would be worth the try. <laughs> so. If I knew how to, or you guys, if I bothered to learn how to edit videos, I would add like a little musical segment here or something, but I don't have time for that either. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add my little circle. the little line now. So as you guys can see this process video is going to be really really easy. It's pretty short um, since I already have everything just cut out for me and um, 
just makes it so much easier. I'm just popping up the lion. That's going to be the only thing popped up actually. Add that right there. There we go. Really cute. What I'm going to add now is the little banner sentiment. Pretty much done. Or all we're gonna do is add a lot of nice adhesive to this corrugated card base so that we can place it on our craft card base rather. Actually, just make sure it's really good. You want to make sure the dang thing sticks on there. So. There we go, really cute. Really, really nice, beautiful. Now, um, I'm gonna just curl up these ends a little bit. Just kind of flip them up on the banners. Kind of give it that nice little dimensional look. And But again, it's probably not gonna look that way when the receiver gets them. But maybe they will. <laughs> So we've got that. Um, I might add some Wink of Stella. Actually, I don't think I really want to though. I don't think anything. Well, I don't think everything needs glitter, <laughs> as we often feel like it does. I think that's going to be it. So really cute. Um, these are a few of the other ones that I made. Then um, that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and make a bunch of these, um, and that'll be it for that. So thank you so much for watching. Oh, and I'll show you guys the original prototype I made, but I decided I didn't like this one. So that was what I was originally going to do with some rounded corners and some dashed lines and um, this, but I really like the way that this card feels sturdy with the corrugated, and I just, I liked that color in it really a lot more. So this is just um, version one. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully this kind of gives you some helpful hints on how to mass, mass produce your own stuff. So thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.